welcome to signal and system lecture series here in this session i'll be explaining calculation of fourier transform of impulse function so let me define impulse function first so if you observe impulse function noted by delta t and if you see its value varying with respect to time then at t is equals to 0 it is having impulse and for other values its value is 0 so this is what impulse function so in terms of function if i want to define then that is delta t and that is equals to 1 at t is equals to 0 and its value is 0 where t is not equals to 0 so that is what sampling function now let us calculate fourier transform of this so fourier transform so fourier transform if i say x of omega so that is fourier transform of this signal delta of t and basic formula that we all know integration varies from minus infinite to infinite delta t into e to the power minus j omega t dt now see when you have integration of impulse function delta t you don't need to have limits as impulse is happening at t is equals to 0 so here all we need to do is we just need to place value of this complete integration at t is equals to 0 so del t delta t into e to the power minus j omega t at t is equals to 0 we need to place so you'll be finding this is del of 0 into e to the power minus 0 so this is 1 and del of 0 is even unity so fourier transform of impulse function that is 1 so fourier transform of impulse function that is unity that is 1 that is how we can identify it i hope that you have understood this session thank you so much for watching this video you can give your valuable suggestion and you can download this material from my application thank you so much for watching this video